Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are unboxing, taking an in-depth look and testing two of Flight DG's most recent controllers, the Vader 3 Pro and the Dire Wolf 2. So the Vader 3 Pro, priced at $79.99, offers the complete package, like Hall Effect triggers and joysticks, 6 extra macro buttons and micro switch X, Y, A and B buttons. The Dire Wolf 2 costs only $39.99 and packs all the essential features. Both controllers are compatible with multiple devices, including PC, Nintendo Switch, TV, Android and iOS mobile devices. So without further ado, let's get started with the unboxing. First, let's check out the Dire Wolf 2. As I said, this model is priced at $39.99 and it's one of the entry-level controllers by FlyDG. The controller arrives in a sleek matte black box with minimalistic branding. We find a user guide, warranty card and what appears to be the USB wireless dongle. Next we have the USB-C cable for charging. The controller has 800mAh battery which offers around 15 hours of playtime. And here we have the controller itself. Now the first impressions are that it feels substantial, neither too heavy nor too light. We have the well-established asymmetrical thumbstick design. It ensures comfortable grip during marathon gaming sessions. The Dire Wolf 2 has a sleek white matte finish that offers tons of grip and the controller feels really nice in the hands. So for the X, Y, A and B buttons, we have silicone membranes, which actually feel quite alright, they're not too mushy to the press and we'll see how they feel in some actual gaming later in the video. Next, moving on to the thumbsticks, which I think are the highlight here. They use long-lasting and precise hole effect sensors, which completely eliminates the stick drift issue that most of the controllers inevitably face after a while. The movement feels fluid and the joysticks are not too stiff either. The blue rings you see here are anti-friction wear-resistant rings. At the center we have the power button and the function button. Next we have the hybrid 8-way D-pad, which is excellent for fighting games like Tekken for example. The D-pad is slightly raised as you can see, buttons are actually very sensitive, it does not require a lot of pressure to press them down. On top we see the select and start buttons. Moving on to the bumpers and triggers, the bumpers use standard membrane buttons while the triggers use Hall Effect linear sensors. They are extremely precise, the motion feels very smooth and fluid without too much resistance. On the back we also find two extra back buttons, those are macro buttons and are fully programmable. There's also a switch for the three connection modes, wired, bluetooth and 2.4 GHz wireless mode with the provided USB dongle. And now guys, let's finally take a look at the Beast the Vader 3 Pro. The model we have here is finished in this gorgeous matte black color and it really feels very solid and nicely built. There were times where third-party controllers were a synonym of poor quality and questionable performance, but the Vader 3 Pro absolutely shatters that notion into million pieces. I've used the controller for quite a few games and you definitely got a lot to cover. So let's get started. First we have two extra macro buttons at the front, just below the X, Y, A and B buttons. Those are labeled C and Z buttons, which have mechanical switches. The X, Y, A and B buttons use micro switches with rubber pads. They feel awesome when pressed with nice clicky feedback. The thumbsticks use upgraded Hall Effect sensors and the movement is just so so smooth and effortless. For me personally, it feels substantially better than the thumbsticks on the regular DualSense and Xbox controllers. Here we also have the blue anti-friction ring, which further helps reduce any unnecessary friction. Like on the Dire Wolf 2, there's also the hybrid 8-way D-pad. Moving on to the back of the Vader 3 Pro, where we got tons of stuff going on. 
First, there are four more fully mappable back buttons, labeled M1 to M4. Here is a toggle switch for the three connection modes. And now here's the interesting part. The triggers use Hall effect sensors, which are great with 9mm travel distance. But if we flip that switch, the triggers turn into 0.3mm ultra short key travel mouse like fire mode. Which is just amazing for first person shooters, which we'll test in just a bit. Now, guys, enough with the dry specs, let's actually connect the controller. I will use the provided USB dongle, which offers 2.4 GHz connection and it's pretty much plug and play. You can use the controller without the Flight Digi Space Station app, but I've downloaded it as it offers tons of customization options to take full advantage of the controller's capabilities. From the app, you can easily remap buttons, configure the turbo mode function, adjust the rapid fire rate, and create your custom macros. You can also make different profiles and quickly switch between each other. Furthermore, you can customize the thumbsticks, the gyro as well, and the triggers too. The first game I wanted to try on the Vader 3 Pro is Fortnite, where the controller's performance is a critical factor. Straight away, I enabled the short travel mode for the triggers, and as you can see, the firing is much more snappy and responsive. The Vader 3 Pro is equipped with Hall Effect thumbsticks, which are known for their precision and durability. This technology reduces the thumbstick drift and provides a more accurate response, which is crucial for aiming and executing quick maneuvers in any game. The controller's responsiveness is further enhanced by its low latency with an average of 3 milliseconds, ensuring that every action is registered almost instantaneously. The Vader 3 Pro controller is a solid choice for GTA 5 gamers as well. Its build quality, performance and customization options make it a versatile controller for almost any game. While the gyro features may not be directly supported by GTA 5, creative players can find ways to incorporate them in an enhanced gaming experience. The controller's design and functionality aligns well with the diverse gameplay elements of GTA 5 making it a recommended accessory for any serious players. As for the more budget-oriented Dire Wolf 2, it also performs really well. Yes, we lack some of the more premium features, like four more macro buttons, micro switches for the X, Y, A and B buttons, and the 0.3mm short travel triggers, but for its price, it did really great. The Hall Effect thumbsticks were precise and fluid, I was using the wireless USB dongle and I didn't notice any input lag whatsoever. In conclusion, the Flight Digi Vader 3 Pro controller enhances your gaming experience. Its precision, customizable controls and ergonomic design makes it a solid choice for both casual and competitive players. The controller's features, particularly the gyro aiming and low latency, are well suited to the demands of players who prefer FPS games. And if you're looking for a more affordable option, the Dire Wolf 2 is also a great controller worth considering. It packs all the essential features, it's comfortable to grip and most importantly, it's built to last. So guys, if you like the controllers, you can find purchase links in the video description. Thank you for watching and see you guys in our next video.